In this video, we'll be talking about the concept of amplification. The goal of this entire unit is to learn about a device called the Operational Amplifier, or the Op Amp. However, before we can do that, it's best to understand what exactly it is we're trying to do with them. Amplification is a very important part of circuit design. But what is amplification? What does it mean? Typically, we might have a circuit. And although we know it can be quite complex inside, we're going to ignore the particulars of the circuit. It'll have an input voltage called V in. And if you'd like, we can call it positive and negative top and bottom. It'll have, similarly, an output voltage, called Vout. The goal of an amplification circuit is to compute something called the gain, which is usually given with the symbol A for amplification factor. A, in this course, is almost always going to be constant. It is possible to make a varying gain, but for the most part, in this course, we won't consider that. So what does the gain do? Eventually, by analyzing the circuit, we'll come up with this number A. And then we'll write an equation that says V out is A times V in. We might call this a fundamental amplifying equation. The key here is that what we're doing is multiplying V in by a constant to get V out. We can then replace the circuit with an amplifier. Let's take a look at some examples. In the first one, I have V out might be negative seven times V in. If this is the case, then if V in, for example, was 10 sine of t, then V out would be negative 70 sine of t. All I did was multiply 10 sine t by negative 7. The key here is that gain can be negative. And often, we'll use the term inverting. Why we use that is because if you take a look at the original sine wave, then the new one will be inverted or do opposite things. If the first one started going up, the new one starts by going down, and it'll be larger. In this case, I didn't draw them to scale. Gains can also be less than 1. For example, let's see an example where we've already used something like this, a voltage divider. Here is Vn, and here is Vout. If this is 1 ohm and this is 9 ohms, then V out is going to equal to 1 over 10 Vn. We might want to replace the entire circuit with the following schematic diagram. This is a rather generic way of writing this. And this is an amplifier. Sometimes you might see it as a gain. When we draw the triangle, we're going to see there are a number of features that we need to look at. So let's zoom in on it a little bit more 
and talk about what this symbol is going to show us. Now, you might have an issue. I have two terminals for vin that I might call plus and minus, but I only have one for vout. What do I really mean here? Remember that vout must always be specified with respect to some reference. The reference hasn't gone away. However, what we've done is assume that the reference can be found somewhere else in the circuit, and we're referencing vout from that point. In the next video, we'll look at the op-amp circuit itself. Once we see how the op-amps are built into circuits, we'll understand a little bit better about where that reference comes from.